Hello, everyone. Welcome to episode 37 of this awesome, amazing Osu Let's Play series. In the last episode, I talked about pick and ban strategies for tournament matches. And in this episode, I want to talk about focus, specifically how it can relate to Osu tournament matches, playing consistently, and how you can, I guess, make sure, so specifically regarding tournament context, how you can make sure that you are well focused on the day of your match. So before I get into any of that, I do want to shout out as usual that I live stream every single day over at twitch.tv slash digital hypno. So that will be linked in the description. But if you want to hang out with me or ask me a question, watch me play this game live, anything like that, that is the place to do that would be very, very happy to see you there. Stop by, say hello. And bonus points if you tell me that you came from this Let's Play series, I'll be even more happy to see you guys there. So. Yes, let's get started. So there's a couple of random maps that I will play in the background while we get on with the topic of focus. So a couple of things, I think, before we get started. As usual, if you have not seen OCPHD, uh, that will be linked up in the little card thingy up there. But uh, watch that video first. I did touch on focus in that video as well. And um, I'll mention now, since, uh, since I'm thinking about it, uh, there's a podcast series that I would highly suggest you guys check out if you're interested in the real nitty gritty of focus. There's a podcast that I would recommend called the Huberman Lab Podcast, where it goes into the scientific tools of like ways to improve your focus or well, okay, one episode on focus. He does a lot of different things, but very cool. I will have that linked in the description as, as well, or um, probably there's a, there's a card for it as well in the top right corner. But yeah, anyway, anyway, so specifically pertaining to Focus. Yes, this is mostly going to be a sort of account of my own experiences and what has worked well for me. So I think the most important thing, like if you want to stop watching this video right now, then I would say good night's sleep and like maintained energy levels through like, make sure you eat something, make sure you're not starving, um, and your head is sort of in the right place. I guess like a clear mind. Um, meditation could probably work, help with improving focus. It's not something that I've really tried myself, but um, I do know the benefits of meditation and how it can help a lot with um, like not letting your mind wander or like, I guess, controlling your like mental state to not be so cluttered, I guess, uh, is a good way to put it. So, uh, yes. Okay, so I would say... Hmm. So okay, so I think focus. Okay, so focus plays a very big role in consistency. Obviously, I think if you can't focus, um, and I guess the reason why is because if you can't focus, then you won't be able to read the patterns consistently. And I think that's like a huge part when it comes to playing consistently, especially like in one try in a tournament match. Um, I would say. Like the way you can tell if it's your focus that's wrong or just some other skill. Uh, and this was mentioned in PhD, so just as a quick review, like if you couldn't tell how you missed at all, then that's probably because like you weren't focused enough to really be reading the map properly. So that's what I would say. And for tournament matches in particular, um, like so, okay, usually I think standard protocol, if it's a match that I really care about, then I will like. My only goal the day before is to like make sure that I've gotten a good night's sleep, I would say. So, yeah, and okay, I've had times, okay, this is like really, don't do this, but okay, I think it's actually pretty common for me, for my stomach to sort of close up before matches. And then I'm like, oh, no, I'm not hungry, I'm not hungry. And then um, the problem is that like when I don't eat before matches, then like I like my hands become kind of unstable. And it becomes a lot harder to control my hands. Yeah, so uh, don't do that. Make sure you're not starving before your matches. Uh, I've made that mistake so many times. I think I'm better at it these days, but yeah, I strongly, strongly advocate for um, making sure you have eaten something before a match. Although some people say also that like you shouldn't eat right before a match or like don't eat too much because then you'll end up feeling kind of sluggish. Oh, which is kind of true. So uh, take some precautions and also I think be aware of your own like body's preferences towards 
like what helps you stay the most focused because obviously okay, well, I think that that should hopefully make sense but just because something works for one person doesn't mean it will work for you I think that's a general uh, guideline that you should use for pretty much taking any advice especially on the internet um, if you really want like prescribed sort of like advice for what you specifically should do then probably talk to a licensed health professional <laughs> but um, yeah and regarding focus specifically um okay actually okay so miscellaneous things that can affect focus is i think posture is actually a big thing um you might find that just sitting up more or like sitting in a different way can help a lot with like paying more attention to the screen um also i think some people focus better when they're like um i don't know they have like um I, okay i think people call it like the match buff like when you're in a match you feel a lot more focused or like you have a lot more adrenaline and um if you're really pumped up for a match that can sort of help you get in the zone and stay focused so yeah different things okay obviously it's, it's hard to control that sort of environment or replicate it on command but it is something that i think can help with focus um okay other things i think okay this i guess since this came to mind i think it's more skin related but um actually okay so this skin related like if your cursor is a certain way then that could actually affect your focus as well and like the way that you read the map so and it really depends person to person some people like really like okay some people like playing with cursors that are sort of out of the way and some people like the complete opposite where it's very easy to see your cursor so it really depends and for osu specifically i would say like match interface and like turning your game interface off if you need to is really really powerful way to stay focused on just the gameplay and um yeah so if, if you guys don't know let me try this map again just so i can show you if you press shift tab then that toggles the game overlay so let's see if i have combo okay well, i guess it's, it's hard to show but yeah if i have combo then it'll hide that as well hides everything so that way you don't have to be glancing over at your accuracy every now and then i think that's a very very powerful way to lose focus <laughs> is you're just like, oh, hmm, slow section, what's my accuracy? And then you just miss, because uh, this game is awesome. <laughs> um, there's another thing, okay, so there's, there, okay, so there used to be some skin elements that existed where you could cover the, like, the multiplayer leaderboard that's, like, on the sides. Um, like, even during breaks, it, that skin element would cover these uh, leaderboards. Although, um, okay, I guess this is more of a rant at this point, but... I think Pepe, so the lead developer of the game, has the opinion that like it doesn't make sense to hide all like traces of the fact that you're in a multiplayer lobby when you're in a tournament. Because like you look at other competitive games and um, obviously there's some interaction with the other players. It's not like you're completely blinded to the other players. Um, and th that's sort of his take on it. And he's like, well, it doesn't really make sense to be able to hide the interface. Although his current stance on it, so he is implementing a toggle for like being able to see the leaderboard. So like if you're the match host, then you'd be able to toggle whether or not the leaderboard is visible. And that is something that like tournament hosts can do, like referees. That if they want it to be allowed for like players to turn the leaderboard off, then it'll be like everyone's sort of on the same playing field in that sense. So that's the current stance. I'm pretty sure, yeah, it's not going to get re-implemented into the stable client, which is the current client that you're seeing me use right now. Um, so those of you, oh man, now that I think about it, those of you watching this series in the future, when stable's like, or when laser is the main OC client that everyone's using, that's powerful. We've been waiting so long. This is uh, a report from 2021 that, um, yeah, we're just stuck on this client, so we can't submit scores on laser yet crazy <laughs> but yeah hiding your interface is very powerful I, I think the biggest tips i would give for like staying focused during a match um oh actually I, can, I guess i can talk about the mental side as well um but okay but before i get that before i get sidetracked i was just gonna say as a sort of summary um 
good night's sleep the night before is super, super important. And uh, food, obviously, you don't want to be on a completely empty stomach. And uh, hiding your interface also. Um, generally, just having like your visual field, like something that's comfortable for you to be focused on. And okay, let's talk about the mental side of like, I guess what people call momentum, especially in tournament matches. Like, if you are sort of on a hot streak and like winning a bunch of maps in a row, then it can like, it can sort of boost your confidence, I guess, and help you. Yeah, actually confidence helps with focus as well, I feel like, because when you're not confident, I think it's very easy to just, what is it? Oh God, <laughs> end of the map is distracting me. Is there a spinner at the end? Oh, no, okay, okay, okay. So, um, yeah, I, I think if you're not on, like, if you're sort of on a losing streak or if you're not confident, then it can, like, put thoughts in your head about, like, uncertainty about, like, oh, if you're really going to uh, get a good score or something like that. So, um, yeah, I, I think, okay, so tips for that. Let's see. Yeah, let me move on to the next map. Okay, do you have a score on this already? Let's use the same mod combo. So... I think what really matters, or like what helps the most, and it's easier said than done, but like sort of putting behind you the maps that have already passed and just focusing on like what you can control now, like for the future, basically. Like if you're down 0 4 and it's first to six points, then like do your best. And it's right again, easier said than done, but don't like you can't change the outcomes of the maps that have already passed. So. What we can change is like how you perform in the future maps. So if you really feel confident and feel like you can win that match, then uh, I guess don't give up. Um, stay confident. I think that's really, really powerful. And also um, regarding, tour uh, regarding tournament match prep, um, I know Zudinator... Wait, let me turn my volume a little higher. Okay. So Zudinator... Oh, okay, I deserve that miss. <laughs> uh, she did a lecture hall over at OC University on preparing for tournaments. I'll have that linked in the description or card in the top right corner, but highly recommend checking that out if you want sort of another perspective. And that, I think she also sort of talks about um, map pool practice as well, which if you're interested in my take on that, I did talk about that two episodes ago, I think, um, on, wait, no, 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 I think uh, in the last few episodes, I've, I've touched on it every now and then, but um, I guess regarding confidence and in like in the same vein of how improving your confidence can improve your focus as well. I think having practiced the map pool and having a good understanding of how you're going to perform in the match is really powerful for um, like that way you don't have to spend any mental energy just thinking about how you're going to perform in the match. And um, that way you can just focus all your attention on doing your best and putting your practice to work, I guess. But uh, yeah, hopefully that makes sense. I think that's sort of all I wanted to cover regarding focus in this episode. Just a quick little video giving my thoughts on that. And again, definitely check out the resources in the description if you want to get into the nitty gritty. Watch OC PhD also. Uh, if you've heard me say it countless times and you haven't watched it yet, then um, I don't know what to tell you. This video is almost over, so now's the perfect time. Uh, it'll be on the end screen, the little card thingy that shows up but um, like at the end of the video, but yes, hopefully you guys learned something from this episode, I guess. And as usual, link suggestions for topics that you have for future episodes in the comment section um, or post in there because I do read all the comments on these videos. And um, yeah, if you're watching in the future, check out my channel, watch my future videos because I upload every single day. And speaking of every day, I also stream live stream every day on Twitch, um, as I've mentioned. So please stop by, say hello. We'd be very happy to see you guys there. But uh, yeah, with that, I'll see you guys next time.